Now, for a given linear programming problem, uh, there is something called the standard form of linear programming. And let me show you how to change the given linear programming problem into the standard form. The basic idea is to change all the inequalities given, except for the last positivity condition, everything in here, these three, into an equation rather than inequalities. Uh, it's a step that's in involved when you try to solve using some method called uh, simplex method. Uh, it's a method to solve linear programming problem when you have a lot more variables than just x and y. Okay, so what do you do? You have to add or subtract on the left side to make this inequality into equality. Let me explain what that means. Uh, see, the left side is less than the right side, so should you add something to make it equal or subtract something to make it equal? Of course, you have to add something because this this is less than the right side. So if you add something, some adequate amount of number, then it's going to equal to the right side. So we write x plus 4y plus s1 equal to 48. Now, had this inequality been the opposite, if it was uh, rather than less than equal, if it was greater than equal, then you would have subtracted S1. So uh, just note that you could either be adding or subtracting depending on the inequality. If, uh, if the equality is in the less than form, you add. If it's in the other direction, you should subtract. Uh, but you don't have to memorize that. You can just figure it out by thinking about whether you should add or subtract. It's really easy. Okay, uh, when you are adding this variable with the addition sign is called the slack variable. And when you have a minus instead, in that case, that variable that you, you newly assigned, that's going to be called a surplus variable. Now, since in this question, all of them is less than or equal, so we'll only be adding. So all our variables will be slack variables. But uh, in many linear programming problems, you will find not just the slack variables, but also surplus variables. Okay, let's continue on. We have x, actually 3x plus 4y. Again, you have to add something. And we write s2 because this thing you're adding uh, has nothing to do with what you're adding here. They could be different numbers. And then uh, you have to add something to make it equal to 64. And then you write... 4x plus 2y plus s3 to make it equal to 62. Now, once you have introduced these select variables, you have to make sure that your objective function is now represented in in the in the new s1, s2, s3 also. So you write down 40x plus 65y, but then plus zero times s1 plus 0 times s2 plus 0 times just put zeros for all the slack variables you introduced so that uh, actually since 0 times anything is 0 uh, this is exactly same as the left side but by writing it this way you're explicitly telling the reader who's reading this that uh, this s1 and also s2 and s3 has nothing to do with what you're trying to maximize. So it's more explicit what, what you're doing here. So that's the purpose of writing this uh, 0 times s1, 0 times s2, 0 times s3 in there. And once you have done all that, now uh, before we just had, had the positivity condition uh, or non-negative condition for x and y, you just say x, y, and all the new select variables are nonlinear too. So you write x, y, s1, s2, and s3 to be non-negative. That's all. That is what you call the standard form of linear programming.